Hello, everyone. Um, hang on just a second here. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. So this is Tina Rappi, and I want to welcome you to my Stampin' Studio. Today's Wednesday workshop is going to be a little bit different um, than in the past. Today, we're going to do a sneak peek of the new celebration catalog and the new spring mini catalog and those both start on january 5th so um i guess let's start out with the celebration catalog so i cannot open the catalog and show it to you but i can show you the different products that are in the catalog that I have pre-ordered and I have pre-ordered a ton of stuff. So I'm going to show you stamp sets and dies and embossing folders and designer paper, specialty papers, accessories, ribbons, all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get the camera turned down so that you can see. So let me get you up at my ceiling here for a minute while I click you into place. All right, where are we? Oops, what happened? Oh, let's try that again. It popped up saying something about doing a poll or whatever, so we're not doing a poll tonight. Okay, we got this. All right, so get all my crumbs out of the way. Here is the celebration catalog. And as I said, I can't show you inside. I can show you stuff that's here. Those of you that have ordered from me in the past year, um, uh, you, if you are on my mailing list, um, the catalogs have been ordered for you. And I know some people have commented that they've already gotten them. So um, let me know if you do. Hello, Mary Beth. Okay, so here is my favorite Celebration stamp set. So what Celebration is, for those of you that aren't aware, from January 5th through the end of February is Celebration time. And with an order of $50 or more, you get to choose from different products that are available free only. Adorable Owls is one of them. Okay. Another one is the stamp set called Thanks a Bunch. This one is really fun to play with. These are little carrots and stuff and the carrot tops. And there's some really cute words there. And then we have Sending Support. Lots of good uh, sentiments there. And then this is one that you can choose if you place an order of $100 or more during celebration in one order. This is one that Stampin' Up! gave us at the recent on stage event. And this one, it has two-step stamping. So in other words, you stamp this, say like in uh, black ink, and then you would stamp these other parts in green leaves and red flowers and it stamps right over the top of this. Great sentiments in there too. So those are four of the Celebration stamp sets. And then I wanna show you um, some of the paper. So again, available during Celebration. This paper is called Dainty Flowers. I think it is so pretty. This is one of the easiest ways to do cards. You cut it at five and a quarter inches and cut it in four inch chunks. You've got your whole card front done. You just attach it onto a card, put a sentiment on there and you're done. So isn't that pretty? And then we've got this and that. So there are 12 pieces of designer paper in the package and they're two sided. So one side has the florals and then let me get my wire out of here. Oh, it's stuck on. There we go. Um, and then the other side is a more neutral print that you could use for a lot of things. I mean, that can be a masculine card for sure blotches and splotches. 
okay? So that is another one of the choices that you can get during celebration for free with a $50 order. Okay, next is another floral one. This is called Favored Flowers. So we have it in the coral prints and in some purple prints and a combination of the purple and coral. Aren't they beautiful? And then let's look at the second side. Again, some more neutral prints. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Helen. Okay, and so you can see how all of these things um, coordinate together. Really fun stuff. And I want to show you this. Does this look like anything to you? Let me bring the print up there. To me, this looks like orange wedges, right? Like if you were to slice an orange in half, this is what you'd be looking at. Let's remember that. And in a little bit, I will be showing some, showing you something that, um, that could coordinate really nicely with that. So as I finish with this, I want to get them stuck back in the package, but I don't know that that's going to allow me to do it right now. All right, I'm going to set that aside. Okay, next, another celebration one. And this is called Day at the Farm. So we have our veggies from the farm. We have a farm field. Chicks and ducks and geese. Hi, Lois. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me tonight. Okay, and so if you're not into all this farm theme, let's check out the other side. How about a cute uh, plaid, just some rolling hills. This is just a very nice neutral, kind of like a burlap look. And some chicken wire, more florals, and some stripes. So lots of good choices there. And then this, I love, love, love. This paper is called Dandy Designs, okay? There are um, 48 sheets in this package, 12 different designs, and you get four sheets of each one. So check these out, and I'll show you the reverse side here too. There's just so much fun with these and they coordinate so nicely together too. Love the polka dots. I don't know, this together looks like Marsha, 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 like the Brady Bunch with those daisies. So this paper is wonderful. Just. I can't really say neutral, but there's no real theme to it other than bright and sunny. And I love that. Just a couple more here. And there's the last one. So, um, 12 different actually 24 different sheets because you have two different designs on each one. You get four of each with that. So those are the celebration items. There's um, a couple other things in here that I don't have yet. And there is also a big special promotion um, for hosting uh, a workshop, a party, a book party, placing a huge order. Um, there's a special stamp set that hosts can get with that. And there is also a special um, product available for those that sign up um, and purchase the starter kit during the celebration time. And what that is, it is, it is a mini stamp cut and emboss machine that is a new blue color. So um, that's shown in here too. But like I said, I can't show it to you yet. Now, let's look next at some stamp sets. Stamp sets and dies that coordinate with them. And um, 
I put them in alphabetical order. Now I'm hoping, yeah, you don't get a whole lot of glare there. So this one is called Best Day. I love this cake with the little sparklers. And how about a cat cupcake? <laughs> That's fun. This one, um, I, th I just love the sentiments in this. And this reminds me like of chalkboard, chalkboard art. So I'm thinking with this, stamping it in um, the white ink on black, it's going to uh, give a um, chalkboard look. Okay, and then there's this stamp set called Dainty Delight. And this coordinates with this celebration paper that I showed you. This is the Dainty Flowers. And some of the images here coordinate with this. So you've got paper that coordinates with a stamp set and there are dies that go with it too. So some that will cut out different images here and in the paper and some that have just their own unique um, flair to it. So that's fun. I like it when they coordinate um, celebration items with items that you can purchase from the catalog. Okay, and then this is one that they gave us all at um, on stage. So some really pretty decorative borders, that one is called. And I am trying to keep these in order here. And then how about this one, Easter Bunny. And this one is a bundle because you get the stamp set and the punch. They can be purchased separately, but this punch will cut out this bunny rabbit. Okay, because when you do it, you turn it this way and it would punch it out. These ones, there is not a punch for, but um, super duper cute. All right, and then this you've seen before because this was a sneak peek thing that, that everybody could pre-order early, but it is in the catalog. This is the framed florets. Yes, Lois, you love your mini machine. I do too. And I'm really excited about the pretty blue color. It's called boho blue, I think. It looks like a soft baby blue kind of color. So frame florets and then the frame florets dies. And what Stampin' Up! has done now, hallelujah, stamp sets that coordinate, or I'm sorry, Dies that coordinate with stamp sets have the same name as the stamp set. So before, it might have been frame florets stamp set, and then the dies might have been oval frames. And so it was hard to remember what coordinated, but now they're matching up the names. Well, hello, Sandy. And then we have friendly gnomes. And in the current mini catalog, the the holiday edition, there were gnomes um, for Christmas and things like that, and dies that went with it. Well, this new Friendly Gnomes stamp set, these dies coordinate with it. Now, these dies are not going to be in the mini catalog, the spring mini catalog, but they will be available to order online. Okay, and they coordinate with it. All right, and then this is another one that was given to us at On Stage. So this is a big background stamp with all these little hand-drawn dots. So that'll be fun to play with. Haven't used that one at all yet. All right, I got another stack of things here. Let me bring these over. Okay, next is Lighting the Way. And this has dies that go with it. And what I love... I love this lantern. And then the idea behind this is that these are um, fireflies or lightning bugs. And then we've got the little bugs here and then the dies that will cut out these things. So that's really cute. And then this is one, Love For You. And it has these dies. And when you get your catalog, I'm gonna... I'm flipping through the catalog right now because I want to tell you what page. Page five, there's a card that is shown there. And this die that says, much love. They cut it out of gold foil. And I tell you, just that simple thing sold me on this bundle. 
I love it, and I can't wait to play with it. Yeah, you love it too, Wendy. It's, it's so pretty. Okay, this one just makes me smile, playing in the rain. So we've got these cute little critters, and then there are dies that coordinate with it, uh, many of them that cut out the images here and extra things. But there is also, hang on, I, I've got piles that are starting to fall over here. We have designer paper called Rain or Shine. And let me show you this. This is specialty designer paper because I'm going to bring it up here and hopefully you can see. I don't know if you can. This has shimmer on it. It's raindrops. There, I think you can see it now. It's raindrops on it and it has shimmer. And then we have that for the back side. And look at these cute little, the piggy and the dog. And, and then more little raindrops. There's some shimmer on these as well. And umbrellas. I mean, how about for a baby shower, a bridal shower, a spring card? Look at that. This piece I love. This is going to be a hard one to cut up because it's so pretty. And then the plaid. And then these, you can see how it completely coordinates here. The dies for this will cut out these different images here too. So, so cute, so fun. All right, let me get that out of the way. Move this. And then next we have Sentimental Park. And this is one that frankly, the sentiments here and the dies, like this die right here, if I can get it off that does a little outline flower. Love that, love that. And these framed pieces here. Obviously I have not transferred these onto my mag magnetic um, boards yet, but I love this where it will cut out a label with the flowers too. All right, so that's Sentimental Park. And then this one, share a milkshake. And look at these. You can make a waffle cone and where instead of it being, you know, a round cone that you would fill with ice cream, it's kind of flattened. So you can put it on the card for a look of a waffle cone with a big scoop of ice cream in it, but it's mailable. That's cute. And this is another one that just makes me smile, the silly goose. I just love them fist bumping and and here's like a mother goose giving a frog a ride. And so that one's fun. And then this something fancy. Sentiment stamp sets are always a must for me. I'm always looking for new ones. And I like ones that coordinate with different types of fonts, you know, where you have the... Um, the cursive font here along with the uh, crisp, uh, what do I want to say, all caps type font. This is in a bundle and these little tags and labels coordinate with this. So these different things fit right over this. So you could die cut it and then stamp that on. Okay, then we have Sweet Citrus. And with Sweet Citrus, this is the one that I was talking about when, let me grab it again. Remember when I showed you this and said, doesn't it look like oranges? Okay, how about that? So here you can do it and you can stamp. This is like if you've cut an orange or a lemon or whatever in half, and this, it would be stamped um, orange or or the bright yellow, and then this is the actual fruit part of it. And then wait, because there are dyes that will coordinate with that, and there is an embossing folder. So this is a hybrid embossing folder. And so what that means, okay, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can kind of see that image. So you can take this, and open it up. Let me get this off of here. Okay. 
and you can let's see i gotta figure out where it goes exactly right here okay so you can put this in here this die lines up perfectly with this now i have the cutting edge up and then you would take and you would put your cardstock on here and close it and run it through the stamp cut and emboss machine and it is going to die cut each of these but they're also going to be embossed so stamp it lay it in here put this on run it through it's stamped it's embossed and it's cut isn't that cool all right and then let's get this out of here we're getting near the end of the stamp sets this one this was one uh, created by a million dollar seller uh, taco fiesta and here you can't really notice it but when you look at the catalog okay so we have a pepper and you can take this pepper and put the eyes and the mustache on it the little avocado with the different faces on it you've got your pinata and then all the stuff that's going to fall out of it i mean is that adorable you spice up my life you're not your average friend holy guacamole <laughs> so that's fun okay and then one more this is also one that could be pre-ordered earlier but it's in the catalog this one is called warm welcome and there are dies that coordinate with it okay so here we have a doorway and i just want to show you i don't know that you can see it no you can't really tell it there but the doorway is one image and then the present is another one. So it's not that this with the present in it is the whole thing. So you could um, stamp the doorway with the door open and then put this little arm here. And then you've got the dies for the door. Um, so you could put somebody's actual street address on there. Um, Charlotte, there is not paper to coordinate with, um, with the taco set. Um, but... With a lot of them that I've been showing you, you could still get the bright festive colors that you would associate with it. Or you can create your own designer paper by choosing, say, a white background and just stamping these little images all over them and then coloring them in. So there's different options there for that. Okay, so that's all the stamp sets that I have for now. Of course, there's still a huge list of things that I want, but that'll be coming. And then I want to show you some specialty papers. So this is called Like an Animal. And this is specialty paper. This has, um, it, so it's all animal print type things, but they have either gold or silver shimmer on one side. So that's like mermaid uh, tails <laughs> and zebra print and giraffe and another giraffe or maybe no i would say this is probably like alligator and this is giraffe and then like a cheetah print so gold and silver shimmery on one side and when we flip it over to the other they are um not shimmery but a similar type print so that's some fun paper yeah definitely alligator Okay, and that one is called Like an Animal. And then this paper is called Ready to Ride. Can you recognize what this is a print of? This is Tire Tracks. Yeah, and this has a real shimmer to it too. So it's um, basic gray background with a black um, like embossed image and then we have our wrenches and our nuts mechanic nuts and our um, checkerboard and then this to me looks like the um, a mechanics tool chest you know when it's the silver um, and then it's got these little things in it and then we throw in a really pretty um, feminine one. And then let me show you the reverse sides of these. So we have red, or red, we have orange, and then we have 
this one with the prints. So this is the, there's a stamp set that goes with this that I did not get that's motorcycles and that type of thing. So here you can see the motorcycles. And I think that's kind of why they added in the orange. So it's kind of like the Harley Davidson kind of combination. And then here with this side of it, I mean, you could cut out each of these individual squares and make a card pretty darn easy. And then we have the different parts. So we've got the helmet and the the um, roll and the vest and some more tools. There we've got our motorcycle and then maps. Okay, so that is the ready to ride designer series paper. And then we've got some vellum. This is called vellum basics. And this comes six sheets in a package and you get two of each. So there's a diagonal print and vellum is kind of, if you're not familiar with it, it's sort of like wax paper, only a much higher quality. So you can kind of see through it a little bit. So it gives a nice, um, a nice look on cards. We've got polka dots, and then we have this leafy print. And so with that, you get two of each. And let's see. Then there is... 12 by 12 fine shimmer paper. So we have it, you get three sheets of each one. So we have fresh freesia and this is soft succulent, those two colors. And can you see that shimmer and shine? So it's not actually glitter paper cause it's, it's smooth, um, but you really got that pretty shimmer and shine. All right, one more paper here to show you. This one is called Dry Brushed Metallic. And with this, we have the blue-green color combination, and I'm sure you can see that shimmer there. And this is one side of paper. The reverse side is white. And then there is this coral colored one. And this actually is part of a suite, um, but this is the only thing that I got from that. And this is, um, what did I say, two sheets of each one and that's dry brushed metallic. Okay, so we've gone through the celebration items. We've gone through the stamp sets. We've gone through all the designer paper and specialty paper. Now, let me show you some other things. This embossing folder is raindrops, and this coordinates with the um, Remember the stamp set and the designer paper that I showed you that has like the bunny and the umbrellas and the turtle coordinates with that. And then here is cane weave embossing folder. So this is one of the three dimensional ones and it's just like a caned chair. It's got that basket weave or cane weave um, look to it. And then there is the metal plate embossing folder. So this is one that coordinates directly with that motorcycle paper that I showed you. And so if you were to use this with silver paper and emboss it, that's going to give you the look of the mechanics toolbox that I was talking about. All right, a few more things here. A new mask set. So this is called Loveliest Layers Decorative Masks. Let me get them out of here. Let me see. I'm just going to grab a piece of paper to lay down here so you can see it. So this you could take and put on paper. And then you could, whoops, you could take one of our blending brushes, get ink on it, rub it all over, and remove it. And you've got a pattern on here. So kind of a gingham check. And then there's this large flower. And there's also this piece, which kind of would have the veining of it. So you could do this. Let's say you did this in a, a light pinkish color. And then you take that off and it's going to leave this image below. Then you can take this and put right over the top of that image that you just sponged. And now in your flowers, you're gonna have the different veining so that you get a variegated look to it. So then when you're done with that, oh, and then these little parts would be sponged um, a green color. And then when you're done with that, 
let's see, it goes, which way? Oh, no, here, you've got your leaves that you can put in there. You're done with that. And then you can put this over the top of it and do it in a darker color. So the masks are really a lot of fun. Um, and you can create so many different things with it. Okay, so I just showed you the blending brush. We have, so this is the regular ones that we've had before. And now we have mini blending brushes and these are so cute. Three of them in a package. So for tighter spots or things like that, or you just don't need as big of a one, three in a package for that. And now they have just come out with a storage piece for both the large and the small. Here I am trying to do this backwards. Hang on here. There, and it sets there for both the large and the small blending brushes. So they can sit on your shelf um, very easily. I know a lot of people were struggling with how do I store these? And here's the other thing with this, and I've talked about it before. Some people feel a need to have one of these in every one of your colors. Not the case at all. You use it and then you can rinse it off. It might leave a little ink color on here, but it doesn't leave ink. And that way you can keep reusing it with all different colors and you don't need a ton of them. Okay, now we are to embellishments. All right. Um, let me see, let's do ribbons first. So this one comes as a combo pack. It's called Real Red and Burlap Ribbon. And I am going to open this up because they're so much prettier when you can actually see them. Well, while I'm trying to do this and not cut my ribbon, tomorrow on Thursday, December, um, December 15th, Stampin' Up! is offering free shipping. Now, it, um, it will not make it in time for Christmas, but free shipping on any orders that are $75 or more. So it's a good time to stock up on cardstock and envelopes and, you know, if there's any ink that you're wanting and stuff, um, take advantage of free shipping. That saves you 11%. So I love this ribbon, it's so pretty. Okay, so that is the real red and burlap combo. And then we have, let's get this one. This is Knight of Navy and it is a really pretty, um, not quite a denim, but it's a really nice weight so that it's not going to bulk things up. Okay, that's one, two, oh yeah, here's the other one. And then we have the three twine combo pack. And so we have the Coastal Cabana, um, what color are they calling that? Garden Green and Pumpkin Pie. So that, and then embellishments. These are the cutest stinking little things you've ever seen. These little flowers, and I thought at first that they were paper flowers, but they are not. They are uh, a hard plastic. And so this is actually in the suites with that turtle paper and the um, umbrellas and stuff. So taking the place of maybe say an embellishment, some dots or rhinestones that you would put on something, you could put those on. All right few more embellishments to show you. So this is the adhesive back milky dots in some really good colors. And those colors, let's see, does it say here? I don't see it on here. Yeah, but that's nice. And then here we have the gold faceted adhesive back. So we have some regular type, um, regular sequins, and then we have flattened ones. And this almost has a glass-like appearance on it. So those are fun. And then enamel dot essentials. So we have black, we have crumb cake, and I think there's another color in here. Let's just pull it up. Yep, white. And these are iridescent pastel gems. 
So they're kind of like rhinestones, but in the brighter colors. And then we have the opaque adhesive back studs. Yeah, those are nice and in uh, three different sizes. And then I think this one is really unique. This is called adhesive backed studs. And so this coordinates with that motorcycle paper and stamp set and everything. So we've got black and then a silver in three different designs. So um, let me just see if I'm missing anything. I'm taking a look around. I believe that's all that I pre-ordered. Of course, my list is long, 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 long of other things that I want. But for now, this will have to do. Um, so like I said, if you have ordered from me in the past year, um, likely a catalog has made it to your house or is on its way soon. Um, oh yeah, I was going to just show you the, the mini catalog itself. So here it is, right? Um, and this, the celebration and the spring mini catalog, as I said, starts June, June, January 4th. Okay, last week I had offered up the Fine Sparkle Adhesive Back Gems for someone who um, shared or um, shared my video or my um, YouTube video or Facebook. And I put all those names into a hat. And Monica Smithback. You are the winner of these. So just email me your um, your address and I will get these in the mail. Ha ha, Ellen, now, or Helen, your list is now longer. Yup, that's what happens. Seeing them in the catalog is really nice, but I think it's so easy to miss so much in there. It's nice to really get a good look at, at things. So I want to thank you guys for joining me tonight. Um, next week being, um, I'm calling it the week of Christmas, even though Christmas is on a uh, Sunday. Um, next week I will not be doing a Wednesday workshop Facebook Live. So everyone preparing for the holiday and that, but the week after. So we'll get together again on December 28th for a Wednesday workshop. And until then, stay inspired and never stop creating. Bye-bye, friends.